bersih mau saya tunjukkan ya So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have very interesting content for you guys. Today we are going to the canal guys to fetch water here in my African village. It is a rice village people. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to show you how water gets from the canal to the people in my village. Of course, it's not to say that there are no other sources of water, guys. There are many other sources of water. But today we're going to use a donkey cart. And as you can see, guys, um, we are filling the, 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 tank, the drums with water. And we're using the 20 liter gallon to fill. It's quite heavy, you guys. And we're going to sell it to the uh, locals. Uh, so you guys see how um, you have to get into the canal. It's quite risky, guys. You have to be very calculative of how you get in. Um, so yeah, there I'm filling the gallons with water. So, um, guys, the water is uh, sold at around a um, hundred shillings for like the whole gallon. You guys, like the whole blue tank is sold for like a hundred shillings. So that's like 200 shillings there. And this is an equivalent of two dollars. Yep, guys. Uh, yes, that's an equivalent of two dollars, you people. So, of course, there are other methods. There are guys who in the remote, remote villages have to go get the water from the river. There are other sources like boreholes. But guys, here, because this water is used for irrigation, guys, it's clean water from the river, by the way. It is really clean water. As you can see, some of it that is pouring, it's clean water. Mm, and in a day... Um, one can get to, to sell like probably maybe eight, eight gallons of this. So do your math, you guys. And it's quite heavy. It is tedious. It is, it needs world determination, you guys. So yeah, let's enjoy the rest of the video and see. By the way, you guys, um this water in this water you can also find fish interesting you can find fish in this water but really you guys this water is basically clean for consumption and that is it guys i wanted to show you how uh, people get water in a rice village here in africa so guys now we are done filling the the, the the tanks and we have covered it with a nylon paper as you can see and a rubber band just to prevent any spillage Guys, now the same water is used to wash cars, like this is a tuk-tuk. Um, I don't know if you have tuk-tuks where you are. So guys, you see the same water from the canal uh, is used f f um, to wash cars. So the car wash is just basically very typical village car wash just by the canal. And people bring in their cars, basically just motorbikes and tuk-tuks that uh, get to be washed with the same water. And here, guys, uh, come along with me and see how uh, it is done. Yes, come along.
So this is what is done mostly by the men. Uh, but today I'm making an exception and uh, I'm going to be making the ass to be washing it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That is basically how uh, people get th their water in this village here in Kenya. It is a rice village, so basically that is why they have the canal for irrigation. But it is used for many other purposes as you have seen. I hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.